Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. Today is a monumentous day. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you have seen a picture of this tractor that is behind me. This tractor just showed up today, the date of the, you guys won't see this video till Thursday, but the date of the Instagram post, that's when the tractor finally showed back up here. It's actually a different tractor, we're gonna talk about that for just a minute. Uh, real quick though, um, Talking about Instagram, we I do have an Instagram account, Dave and Family Farm. You can find us on there if you want to follow us. I usually will try and do a picture every couple days or if something's going on. Um, you know, just, just some photos about uh, general stuff going on around here if you want to check that out. So anyway, enough about that. So let's talk about this tractor that's behind me. I have it shoved under the carport right now. This is actually a brand new tractor. Uh, for my regular viewers, uh, you remember, and for the new viewers too, I guess, uh, I had a Farmall 55A. This is, where can I get you a shot of it here? This is a 75A. So uh, through the whole process of my tractor being broken, uh, this is the first time since august that i have had a tractor here that i've been making payments on i made payments all through the fall on a tractor that was not in my possession and i'm going to do a whole video on the whole circumstance uh, basically i bought that 55a back uh over a year ago now it was last january 2019 had lots of problems with it and i'm going to go into um, a little bit of detail in that video about the whole process of the whole year and how i got to this point with this 75a um, i've been waiting for this tractor for a long time not this particular one but a resolution to my broken tractor for a very long time and uh, after a bunch of unkept promises and all sorts of other stuff there's finally a tractor here. So um, we'll take a quick walk around. As I said, it's a 75A. It's basically the same size tractor as a 55A, just that uh, it has more horsepower. Honestly, it's probably the same engine. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they just turned it up some. And, uh, you know, that's how they got the 75. But here it is. Um, not really going to talk a whole lot about it. I mean, it's a, it's a red tractor. For some reason, they decided to put the wheels way out wide on it. Uh, the last tractor I had, the wheels were all the way underneath here. They were way too close, and I had asked them to widen the tractor about six inches wider than um, the other one, and I get like two feet wider. I, I don't know what they were thinking at this point. I think it was done out of spite. And the same thing with the front. Um, let, we'll just walk past the tractor here. They put the fronts way out. And I'm gonna show you here. You can see where the side of the bucket is versus where the tire is. I, I don't understand why they did that. Um, the tractor is not staying here, so it, I guess it doesn't really matter to me, but it's kind of irritating to look at it to know that they did that so we'll just take a quick peek inside um just to show you guys here this is what it looks like pretty much like my other one uh, they left the books on the floor we'll turn this on i'll show you what the hours are on the tractor so you can see for yourself that it is brand new 4.7 uh, my tractor i think had about 50 or 55 hours on it when it went in for repair uh, radio has 12 speed transmission uh, basically brand new tractor here so um, again I am not keeping this tractor on the farm it is going just as fast as I can get rid of it um, it was nice that in the end I was able to get a tractor that was 75 horse instead of 55 it makes it worth a little bit more money than what mine was um, but uh, you know, so in terms of getting rid of it, I'll, I'll gain a tiny bit of the lost income. I'm going to go over that in a 
again, another video, but I lost tens of thousands of dollars over the last year from not having my other tractor that I bought. Um, it, it's a large amount of money and um, I, I'm very disappointed in the, the whole the whole circumstance and the way everything turned out, um, you know, for Case IH didn't, they finally, I guess, stepped up to the plate and, you know, helped me out, got me another tractor, but it's the same series of the, I've had two of the other ones and they both had the same problems and I would highly doubt that this one is fixed either. So uh, I just wanted my money back you know six months ago i wanted my money back and instead they drug it out they couldn't provide parts to fix my other tractor and finally i got this one um you will not believe the story of what i went through to get to where we are today and again that's that's in a whole separate video because it's probably going to be 20 minutes i'm going to try and keep it short but it's a long story and anyway so my experience with uh case ih uh cnh New Holland, same same company. My experience with them um, has been terrible throughout the whole thing. Um, I'm very disappointed in the company and uh, the, the dealership in the beginning uh, was not great to deal with. Then they got some new people in there and I thought, oh, this is gonna be great. You know, I was playing my story. They seemed like, hey, we're gonna fix this. We wanna make it right. And then a whole bunch of nonsense happened. I mean, just, unbelievable nonsense things that you wouldn't think a professional dealership you know it's just incomprehensible um so uh anyway i no longer care to work with case ih i still like their old tractors the stuff that i have the case international stuff uh from 1990s early 2000s i'm still a fan of that stuff i highly doubt i will ever buy anything new from cnh again just given the history and the way they didn't support things. And then the dealership that I dealt with, um, again, another reason I'm not keeping this tractor is because they're the, the place that I need to work with. If something happens, let me switch hands. Sorry, that one hand's getting tired. But they would be the dealership that I would work with if this tractor breaks, uh, when it breaks, uh, I have to deal with them. And they, the incompetency level up there is astounding and I don't want to deal with them. So uh, basically that's why the tractor is not staying because I'm not dealing with the company, the manufacturer, and I'm not dealing with that dealer uh, anymore. So uh, that's the situation. Uh, it's I guess partially resolved. The tractor's leaving here just as soon as I can get it out of here. And uh, we'll see what we get in place of it. I'm not even 100% sure yet what's coming. Uh, so, you know, I, I can't even tell you. But anyway, this part of the process has been resolved. Stay tuned for that video. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss it. Again, it's going to be a little bit longer of a video. I will try and keep it short. But there's a lot to the story behind the scenes. And I know some of you are kind of interested in what has happened. And I really didn't want to say much until the situation uh, got resolved. So, again, uh, any questions, uh, leave them down below and uh, be happy to answer them for you. I guess it's a good day today. I don't know. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video.